<sighs> what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Brandon, that's Tina, and that's baby Liam right there. And we are filming a video today because this little boy right here is six months. And, well, yeah, going to be six months. So, today something happened, kind of funny, stay tuned to the end to find out what it was, but it kind of sparked the idea as to what's been going on for these past six months, how's Tina feeling, how I'm feeling, how's the baby feeling, you know? And, you know, we just wanted to kind of just share our thoughts, what to expect, and things of that nature, and yeah. Fighting. What are you doing, oh, boy? Amazing. What are you doing, boy? I'm trying to eat your arm. Hey, hey. Yeah, it's been a journey, and we get asked a lot of questions. So I was like, you know what? Let's film a video today to see and answer some of these questions that we got going on. Question number one: How has it been being a mom after six months? Uh, different. Definitely different from what I'm used to, uh, as far as lifestyle goes. Uh, it's an adjustment. Uh, every day is something different. You know, being a mom, the first month is different from being a mom now that he's almost six months. Uh, just because he's growing every day, and he's changing every day, and he's learning new things, and he is developing in different ways so it's just it's a huge adjustment a huge adjustment all right <laughs> yeah definitely been a huge adjustment I can honestly say you know even for me it's been a big adjustment as well so I already know how that goes that's it does breastfeeding suck <laughs> No pun intended, right? Um, it doesn't suck, no. Uh, actually, we've had a really good breastfeeding journey from the moment that he was born. Like, as soon as they put him on my chest, uh, he went straight to my nipple to latch, and he latched like a champ. He's done a really, really good job breastfeeding. But over the last month and a half, I have had some issues with thrush, which is a yeast infection on my nipple. Um, and that has sucked really, really bad. It is painful as can be. Like when I'm telling you, it is the most serious pain. It feels like hot fiber, like burning hot fiberglass is going through my nipples. So that part has sucked, but I have gotten treatment for it. So it's hurting a little bit less. But now that he's starting to teeth, um, my nipples are a little bit sore right now. So it is getting into a bit of a rough patch lately, but it's still overall a good experience. I like breastfeeding him. It's easy. He enjoys it and it's almost free. <laughs> <laughs> almost. So what would you do differently? Diff uh, what would you do differently back then that you know now? Okay. When you first started being what do you mean? Like when you first started being a mom, like, like what did you do? Like what do you do now? Like oh I know how to do this trick now that you didn't know how to do back in the day. One thing. Um, I mean there's a lot of things, you know, this is the opposite for some being a mom, so uh, I didn't know much when he was first born. Uh, you know, I didn't really know his cues, I didn't know, you know, what he needed, when he needed it, and all that stuff. So it's it's all been just a huge learning curve. Uh, but on the bright side, I have been fortunate enough, thanks to Brandon, to be a full-time stay-at-home mom so that I am able to be with him at all times. So it's just, it's easier now because now, you know, we're really in tune with each other. Uh, what I would do differently back then versus now, not really much, um, uh, because everything that I have done up until this point has always been a learning lesson, so. What's your favorite feature about Liam? Oh, his little toes. He's the cutest little toes. He's got the cutest little toes and his little hair and his little mouth. He's just a cutest baby you ever seen. He's a cutest toes. I love them. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, all right. Is he a good baby? Yeah. Babies can't be bad. I hate when somebody asks me, oh, is he being bad? Oh, is he a good baby? It's like, okay, he is not even six months old yet. He doesn't know how to be bad. He's not a bad baby. He might be fussy sometimes, but that's only because like he might need something. He might be tired, he might be hungry, he might be teething, he might just want to be held. But that doesn't mean he's bad. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. Gah. Yeah. Brandon on the other hand oh. is a different story. So you mean to tell me he's not the devil? Brandon! <laughs> Stop! That's no! <laughs> so, um, is life better now that you have a baby? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so much better. Like, you know, before it was just him and I, and that's great, you know, we have a great relationship, but um I hate to say it, but it's almost like we didn't have direction in a way. Um, because we didn't have and I, it's a bad way of saying this, but we didn't like have much to live for, you know? That's a, not a good way of saying it, but like having him, it's just it's just nice, like, you know, just knowing that, in, in a way, it's, it's hard, but just knowing that we have somebody that depends on us, you know, it, it makes us work harder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's pretty dope. Yeah, definitely work harder, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> and I always have somebody with me, like, I always have somebody with me, which is nice. When he's at work, like, I always have Liam there to sleep with me when you're gone. Like I always put him in the bed with me when Brandon leaves for work. Cause... Yeah, he's always in the bed when I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? How many times I've almost rolled over him. So, so you know, it is what it is. Baby. What makes it better? What makes it better? Yeah, what makes your life better? What it? Uh, like, what features? I mean, just look at him. Look at him. He's just like, he... well, he's pissed right now, but usually he would find like the simplest pleasure in just like this little random baseball bat that I found at the parade. Like, it's just so, yeah. you know, it's just simple. It's nice. Yeah. Like, all right. And I uh, like listening to kids' music all day. I'm not going to lie, because like, they play the good Disney music on Pandora, and I jam out to that, so that's pretty dope. That's it. Uh, do you like your baby daddy? Okay. <laughs> Alright, what is your uh, be what has been your best day with him? Best day Well, I'm just gonna get to that. <laughs> um okay, so the day that he was actually born was really, really dope because you know, obviously I was able to meet him with him. That was really cool. Uh worst day. Like your most challenging day. Wait, it wasn't done. Oh, sorry. With Liam, but actually the other day is definitely on my top list when we went to the parade because he had so much fun. We went to the next parade uh, uptown and we had our own private balcony, so you know we had our own private spot. He was able to breastfeed comfortably, change his diaper, all that stuff. But he really enjoyed the parade. He had such a good time. We were there for five hours. It did rain a little bit, but he slept for an hour and a half. He didn't cry the entire time we were there, and he was just such a good baby. So. I, that was the best. To me, that was the best. Your, what was your bad day? Today. <laughs> no. Was it today? I don't know. You tell me. <sighs> no. Okay. All right. We'll get. We'll get <laughs> to that. We'll get to that. Stay tuned. Did you cry? No. No. Okay. Yes and no. Yes and no. He does. When he's mad, he's mad. like, watch out. He's mad. Mm -hmm. Um. Cries a lot, like if he's eating really bad that day, he'll be really fussy. Or when he's hungry, he's hungry. Feed him. Yeah. Um, other than that, no. He's a really happy baby. Like he is really a happy baby. Like, he'll wake up out of like the deepest sleep sometimes, and he'll just like give you the biggest smile. And it's so cute. What's the matter? What's the matter, baby? Boy? What's the matter, boy? What's the matter? What's the matter? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What's the cutest thing he does? Mm. I love when he wakes up and he just gives me that big fat smile and he's just so happy to see me and he just loves me. Oh, okay, so we were at Walmart the other day and I had him in his carrier and he was just looking around and I had him facing me. And he was just looking around and then like every once in a while he would look up at me 
and he would wait for me to look at him, and then he would just give me the biggest smile, cheesed out, gummed out, okay? And then I would have to smile back before he stopped, and then he would like look around again. And then he'd look back up, smile, wait for me to smile at him, and then look around, and it was just like over and over and over again, and he was just so happy doing that with me. Like, that was the funnest thing for him. Ah, Liam, where are you going? Right. What, are, <laughs> what are some tips to keep babies to sleep at night? What are some things that you do that helps keep Liam asleep at night? We had a really good run for like a month and a half where he was sleeping like six to seven hours a week. And that was amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and then he started teething. So I really have no this. <laughs> What's going through your What's going through your mind when he wakes up in the morning, or when he wakes up at the middle of the night? Oh, nothing. You have to, get it, up. to me, it's, it's normal. Like it sucks, obviously, because I want to be able to sleep eight, eight straight hours. But if breastfeeding is impossible, yeah. uh, I can't sleep eight straight hours anyway because my breasts be more comfortable. Um, but nothing. I'm just all right. He's hungry. Better change his diaper. Let's do this. Let's go. There you go. But sometimes it takes an hour. <laughs> Come on, that's uh, pregnancy rating from one to ten. I hate it. Uh, I, mm. What you wanted again? I would do it again, but I hated it. Not gonna lie, didn't like it. It was okay. I had my good days, but. What are signs to look for when he is about to poop? Do you throw up? He's about to poop. He starts actually, when, he, when he's about to poop, he starts like chewing on the Or like, he start making faces. When he's about to pee, he's a little weak and sometimes. <laughs> when I'm changing his diaper, and then oh, I know yeah. he's about to pee. When he's about to spit up, there is no warning. There's no warning. It just happens. So. Right. What happened this morning? <laughs> so, Liam, this little guy right here, we had just woke. Well, he had just woken up from a nap. So I'm gonna pick him up like this. Well, tell him what was going. What we were doing before. Oh, okay. So we were in the living room hanging out. He was sleeping in the bedroom. Yeah, because he, he was sleeping in the bedroom. And I heard him uh, crying. I was like, oh my gosh, he's awake. So let's go get him. So Brandon starts running. And I'm like, no, I want to get him first. And so we're like beating each other to the, the door pretty much. I was just messing with I was just trying to block your path. Yeah, so, he was blocking know, my path. I was, I was gonna pushing him out of the him. way. Anyways, so I won. All right, so you pick him up. And I go to pick him up. Oh, my baby, oh, my baby. Show them how you're picking him up. Show them how you're picking him up. My baby, ah! No, but she is up higher though. You made me smile. You did my baby! 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 You did my that was pretty funny. It was dripping down my chin, down my chest. Her neck, her back. I had to spit it out, like. It oh was in God. her mouth, like. It was so in wide, her mouth wide open. Oh, baby. It did it. Right in your mouth. It was the funniest thing I've, like, ever witnessed. You know, the first six months have been pretty incredible to watch him grow as much as he has. I mean, it's incredible to watch him. He was just in my belly, you know, six months ago. And now look at him throwing a fit in front of the camera. Yeah. Well, um, that concludes the video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope uh, whoever's out there got some uh, some knowledge, you know, to read books. Not sure. um, but I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Um, I'm gonna definitely try to put out more videos uh, more often. Um, just honestly, I've been working a lot. 
like a lot a lot so with that being said I'm about to stop making excuses and I'm gonna start uh, making more videos and I hope you all enjoy stay tuned for another one peace Hi.